What's going on everybody and welcome back to Sneaker Huddle. Now we have a pair of Air Force One sneakers that we are going to be reviewing in today's video and these things actually caught me by surprise. I was very fortunate enough to be able to get a pair. They were very, very limited. And then when I got them in hand, I really, really loved this Air Force One. Now, the Air Force One is actually a design from Berlin-based artist Ruhan Wang. And the thing that makes this Air Force One so unique and special is that it's actually 50% recycled material on the upper of the Air Force One, hence why it does have here Nike branding where it does say Nike Fly Leather. Now, Fly Leather is a new technology type recycled material that Nike is putting into the upper of the sneaker, which is a nod to sustainability. Now also on the upper of the box, you see lots of astronomical type graphics that are also gonna carry onto the upper of this Air Force One that we're about to unbox here in a moment. And we do have another nod to sustainability on the outside of the box where it does say Earth Day every day. So without further ado, guys, let's get into these sneakers. Now here we have it, the Ruhan Wang Nike Air Force Ones. Now right off the rip, guys, these things they honestly, they have caught me by surprise. I really, really like the design on this Air Force One. Now, specifically, let's talk about the material and you know, comparing it to what you are gonna receive on like a standard Air Force One. This fly leather material seems a little softer with the touch here, a little softer than what you actually get with the all standard, all white Air Force One. And when you actually do look at these sneakers from the top looking down, it's divided into two main sections, a red part for the left, depending on what shoe you're looking at, and a pink. Both sneakers come present with like this stone-like figure or a caveman. Don't know exactly what it is, but he's holding the earth in his hand. And while we're talking about the top of the sneaker, we gotta talk lace options. Now, as you can see, this comes with three lace options. You have a white, you have a turquoise or like a bolt blue, and a purple lace. So depending on which colorway you like best, you have three lace options for these sneakers, or you can even change them up. You can do purple in the right, you can do blue in the left, or white and blue, white and purple, whatever you're feeling that specific day. Now moving to the inner portion of the sneaker, we have that same type caveman with Nike kicks on, and then we have blue accents along with red. I really love the inner portion of the sneaker. By far my favorite side when you compare the inside of the sneaker to the outside of the sneaker. I really love the inner portion of the sneaker, the design a lot better than the outer, but it's not that I hate the outer, I just really love that inner design. Now moving to the back of the sneakers, on one shoe you actually receive a standard Nike, black Nike swoosh, and on the other you do receive a type action figure or you know sustainability action figure or something for Nike where he's holding the world in one hand and looks like a tree in the other. Uh, that's probably another nod to this fly leather technology where they are recycling material to put into the upper. Now moving to the tongue of the sneakers, you do receive on the right sneaker a Ruhan Wang kind of nod to sustainability and on the left sneaker you receive a Air Force One design which that kind of mixes everything up because this is the pair where you actually receive the Nike Air Force One branding and then on the back you do receive the sustainability mascot and then on this tongue you see receive the sustainability mascot and then on the back you receive the Nike Swoosh. So they kind of change things up there for each individual pair. Now when I like I said when I first copped this pair I wasn't really sure how I really felt about it but seeing these in hand they look a lot better in person. Now, when it comes to fit, of course, they fit just like a standard Air Force One. When it comes to comfort, the Air Force One is not the most comfortable sneaker in the world, but it's not bad. You know, overall, I would rate it, you know, like a 5.5 or a 6 out of 10 in terms of comfort. It's not bad, but there are much more better options out there when it comes to comfort. This is more of a lifestyle style and sneaker. And when it comes to the overall rating of this design, I got to give it a 9 out of 10 just because of how creative and the color blocking. The only challenge that you are going to have with this pair of sneakers is figuring out how exactly to style it. If you can style it, then the fit for this sneaker could potentially be a 10, but it's going to be very, very difficult. You could go all basic and then put these on foot and, you know, 
kind of flash things up that way. But I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this pair. This is a pair that I'm super excited to have. It caught me by surprise. And when I say surprise, I'm very surprised that I feel the way I feel about these sneakers. A very cool collaboration. One of the most unique collaborations that we have seen on the Air Force One in a very long time time so that's all for today's sneaker review we hope you enjoyed it be sure to like share comment and subscribe to the channel if you'd love to see more sneaker content god bless each and every one of you and have a great day mm -hmm.